Although the stadium itself lies empty most days, the Rose Bowl's setting in the Upper Arroyo Seco serves as the collective backyard for hundreds of people every evening who walk, jog, fly kites, play sports, and ride bicycles. In fact, on Tuesday and Thursday evenings, dozens of riders from all over slip on their spandex and converge on the bowl to ride in formation. It's called the Peloton. Riding side by side, they set out at about 6 p.m. and make 10 laps, each about three miles, along with the walkers, the joggers, and the cars. I caught up with some of the bikers, or more accurately, some of them stopped to talk to me, like 54-year-old Greg Frame of La Cunada, to ask them just what it is they get out of the peloton. What is, I mean, what's fun about it? I mean, those people say they do it for training and they do it to... Adrenaline to the max. You are just jamming. What else can where else can you go 30 miles an hour? Fernando Burgo said he's been hit by cars twice, so he commutes from Redondo Beach to join the Peloton because it's the only safe place to train. Just like every athlete needs a field or a facility to practice, riders say the Rose Bowl is the Shaolin Monastery to perfect their Peloton Kung Fu. But not everyone shares that enthusiasm. The police department has collected a stack of complaints over the years about the Peloton group. And police chief Barney Malekian, who serves on the Bulls' board, has declared the practice a huge public safety issue. This past Monday, the city council discussed ways of reining in the peloton. The pedestrians, and I think most of us have used it ourselves, find the peloton to create a, a climate of intimidation and fear just because of the speed with which they go that a lot of people have stopped using the Rose Bowl on the evenings that the Peloton is there. They just feel uncomfortable or unsafe. I do find uh, the Pelotons uh, interesting to watch, uh, but intimidating. With their busy lifestyles, people are on their cell phone, drinking their latte, and they don't see us, and they hit us. Fernando Burgos was at that meeting along with a number of Peloton supporters. Uh, Councilman Steve Madison wasn't very impressed by the whole training argument. Uh, I, I don't think any of us is highly enthused about protecting the rights of somebody from Redondo Beach to come to Pasadena to train for their next race in safety. Um, Finding a way to communicate with the Peloton group has apparently been a big problem. The group mostly organizes and communicates using Internet discussion forums. Peloton riders often seem to blame pedestrians for, well, just getting in front of their bikes. In one message about the Rose Bowl controversy, someone asks, Who steps out into the street in front of 75 cyclists going 30 miles per hour? And never mind with a stroller. I will have a core of volunteers. The Pasadena resident Rafael Gomez has been riding around the Rose Bowl since 1973. He offered a compromise position wherein he'd organize a volunteer group to bring the peloton in line. The cyclists would be hard-pressed to find a more bike-friendly crowd, however. Madison likes to cycle with his two sons. Sid Tyler? Well, it's hard to find Sid not on a bicycle. And Steve Hatterline wasn't present Monday because he was on vacation with his family riding a bike. And Mayor Bill Bogard? Let's just say he's no stranger to Peloton. So, what was I to make of all this? Was the Peloton misunderstood, a, a phantom menace? Or did their faceless conformity instill some sort of dangerous mob mentality? I felt I needed to know more. I've been down at the Rose Bowl for about an hour now trying to understand this whole Peloton thing, but I think there's only one way to know for sure.
As you can tell, I've got a long ways to go before I'm going to be welcomed into the ranks of the peloton, but I think I'm beginning to understand their need for speed. Peloton bicyclists say they've been riding around the Rose Bowl for more than 40 years. But the city says they're fed up with the reports of intimidation and fear from pedestrians and motorists around the Rose Bowl. And on Monday night, the city council moved to create an ordinance that would require the riders to only be able to ride two abreast at a time. Now, the Pelotoners say that's not going to work, and even if they pass that ordinance, in the words of one of them, the ride will continue. From the Rose Bowl, this is Todd Ruiz for the Pasadena Star News. Yeah, good night.